Iran is denying any involvement in the deadly drone attack on US troops in Jordan. Three soldiers were killed and at least 34 others were injured in the strike over the weekend. An Iranian-backed militia group has claimed responsibility, but Tehran says the country has no connection to the attack. US President Joe Biden has vowed to respond, but says it will happen at a time of America's choosing. We're now joined by Sunrise Foreign Editor Dr Keith Suter. Good morning to you. Um, the Iranian government has said, we're not involved. Do you think the US is buying it? No. Uh, it may well be they didn't give the actual explicit instructions to do the attack, but clearly this is one of the groups which Iran is supporting. So, retaliation, what does that look like? Is it a one-off attack? Is it drawn-out war? Well, uh, President Biden has, was, has failed, right? He said he was going to prevent the war from, from Gaza spreading, and, of course, it is now spreading. He, he does not want to have a head-on collision with Iran, but at the same time, he has to be seen to be doing something because of the death of American troops. So he has a, a number of things he could do. He could attack um, some of the Iranian military groups that are based in, say, um, Syria or Iraq. Uh, he could attack... Iranian warships mm -hmm. off the coast of Iran um, without actually attacking Iran itself, because that's the ultimate thing. And you've got some Republicans who are actually saying, let's go straight into Iran, stop nibbling around the edges, let's just go straight in and attack. Of course they are. It's a delicate situation, but it comes in a year with a presidential election. So critical decision to be made by Joe Biden. Essentially, this decision could hit determine whether he gets re-elected or not? Absolutely, because it's likely to split the Democrat Party. You know, and you've got a lot of Americans saying, we don't want to go back into the Middle East. We've been there, done that. Mm. They don't want to go back in. So you've got a lot of Republicans who don't want to get back involved and you've got a lot of Democrats who are saying, we don't want to get involved in another war as well. So this could damage Biden's chances and help Donald Trump get re-elected on November 5.